In today's video, we are doing a massive makeover of my son's bedroom. I want you to make sure that you stay till the end so that you don't miss the final reveal because it turned out so pretty. I can't wait for you to see it. When my youngest son moved out, this sort of became the thrift hall storage room. So this was the bedroom suit that he had used when, you know, us living in this house. And he got his own stuff, so we kept the bedroom set. And this is what the room looks like before we started. You can see I've got some stuff that I'm gonna start decorating with, but I also have a lot of my thrift stuff that just really needs to be put away. I have the dresser um, drawers that I can put stuff in, as well as his closet that I can put stuff in. So I'll have plenty of space for some of the smaller items that I thrift and hold on to before it goes into my booth. It's time to strip the bedding and I'm gonna donate these um, sheets, but I'm keeping the quilt. We had to get rid of the box springs because it was really old. So the new one that we bought is one that I found on Amazon and I'll put a link to it below, but it was very easy to put together. And I thought I had a picture of us taking the old one out and putting the new one in, but it was very, very simple to put together. There are a lot of things that I have thrifted that I'm going to either redo or keep as is to put in this room. And this table is one of them. I got this from the Salvation Army. It was marked $30, but it had a half price sticker on it. So I got it for $15 and it really needed to be cleaned up. I can tell this is probably one that came from Hobby Lobby. And so it had that real distressed look, which I liked, but the top just had stains on it from use and, <clears throat> and I knew it just needed to be repainted. So I cleaned it real good, wiped it all down real good and got as much of the dirt off as I could. I didn't want to repaint the whole thing, but I did find this chalk paint by Waverly at Walmart in the color Snow White. And I was hoping that it would kind of match enough just for me to give this uh, top part and the bottom part a coat of paint, a light coat of paint. I just needed to cover all the stains. And it actually worked out perfectly. The color was just right and it covered it real good. So I'm gonna move it into the corner and the rest of the furniture is the brown, but I kinda like having that one piece of furniture that's different. Um, I have this basket that still has the tag on it, but I've used it in other places in my house, but I've never really liked anywhere where I had it. So I figured it looked great right here. Now I'm going to dress the top of this table and I'm pretty sure most of most everything that I've, I'm putting on here is stuff I've thrifted. I thrifted this lamp, I thrifted this book, and the little bird that I'm going to put in the book wasn't necessarily a thrift find, but I did get it from the store where I work at Mayfields and got a really 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 good price on it so shout out to Mayfields um, so and I absolutely love this bird I just think it's so cute I did thrift this brass candlestick so I'm using that as well and then on the other side of the table I'm gonna use this green vase 
This was also thrifted. And when I knew I was gonna be doing this room in green, I started trying to find things at the thrift store in that color. This greenery is some that I used in a different part of my house, but I was changing up that other part. So I was able to use this in the vase in this room. And then this last piece was one that I did buy from Mayfields. Um, I just thought this was just so cute. And I'm just gonna stand it up against the vase. And this table in this little corner is done. This is a piece of furniture that we thrifted a long time ago. Well, I have to say a long time ago, probably a year and a half ago. And I absolutely love this piece. We originally bought it with the plans of painting it, but I just love it so much. And so when I knew I needed a piece for this little wall, this piece came to mind and I was so excited because I get to keep it for myself. I just think this is so pretty. It's a really old vintage piece of furniture and it's a really nice piece of furniture. So I'm just putting this on the opposite wall from the windows and I'm going to put a picture above it and then I'm going to dress it up. The wall art that I'm using above this table is something that I got from the thrift store for $10. And it was something that I got, um, the, it still had the tags on it. It was from Hobby Lobby, but I loved it. And I actually um, put it in my booth for a while, but when I knew I was gonna be decorating this room with the greens, I took it out of my booth and I'm keeping it for myself. This is a basket that I had put together um, the last time we had some guests come in. So I decided to just put it in here and set it on this side of the table and it has just a little bunch of little odds and ends for guests when they come over this is a brass vase that I thrifted I want to say I paid maybe two dollars for it and I just think it's just so cute and then on this side I have this book that I've thrifted and then I also have a little sign for guests when they come in it will have our Wi-Fi password on it and I'm just gonna set it on top of the book this is something that I've had for quite a while so I you know I just thrifted it from my house basically then the last thing I'm gonna do is I had one of these little fern pieces left over that I'd bought from Hobby Lobby so I just fluffed it out and I'm putting it in the brass vase and this section of the room is finished as well. I love lamp lighting and I found this lamp at Goodwill and I just loved the shape of it. It was $12 but it was 50% uh, off. The color of it was 50% off so I got it for $6 but it definitely needed to be cleaned up it did not come with a shade and um, so I knew what I wanted to do with it so I cleaned it up real good you can see it was pretty dirty cleaned it up real good and I'm gonna paint this with the Waverly chalk paint in the color moss I just really love this moss color green in the Waverly and you can find Waverly chalk paint in Walmart you can even find it on Amazon but I just love this color and I love it because I love Waverly because it is so that it is such a reasonable priced chalk paint now as I was painting I did notice which I didn't notice before because it was so dark but when I got down to this part, I noticed that there was a crack in the lamp base. So I just took some wood filler and filled it as best I could. And I let it set for 
a couple hours. I wanted to make sure it had enough time to dry really good. After I filled it in as best I could and while I was waiting for it to dry, I decided to go ahead and just paint around the bottom portion of the lamp. And after probably about two hours, I just took some sandpaper and I sanded the wood filler down as best I could, made it as smooth as possible. Then I cleaned off all of the sanding dust that may have gotten on the rest of the lamp and I continued painting. And once I finished painting, you couldn't even tell that that crack had been there. Now, here's where things went a little frustrating for me. I'm going to use this white wax on it, which I had every intention of doing, but I got sidetracked and I forgot to coat it with the clear wax first. Now, it doesn't make that huge of a difference. Um, it still came out great, but I put the white wax on there and started wiping back with the shop towel and, you know, it was coming off fine but there are certain points where there is a lot of the detail that I had to wipe down a little bit more than other, you know, like the straight parts. And because I had to wipe it down more, it started taking off some of the, the paint. I should have done two coats of paint, which I didn't. That's fine, whatever. But it did give it kind of a distressed look, which is fine. I love a good distressed piece of, um, you know, piece of decor. So it just distressed it probably more than, a little bit more than what I wanted it to. But I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. Now I'm going and I'm putting this on the nightstand where it's gonna sit by the bed in the guest room. And then I'm going to take this really pretty shade. I love this shade that I got from, I think it was a Goodwill and I paid $3 for it. It's an oval shape, which I love. I just think it is perfect for this lamp. And the only other thing I did have to buy was one of those harps. And I think it was like $4. So literally for this beautiful lamp, I paid a total of about $15, and I am so pleased with it. I think it turned out so beautiful. I just love it. On the side table, I want to put a piece of artwork that I did something similar in another video. I already have painted this frame in that celery color green, and waxed it. I made sure I waxed it first with the clear wax and then I'm using this Waverly white paint, the same Waverly uh, white wax, not paint, white wax that I used on the lamp and I'm just going over it real good on the frame and then wiping back the excess with a shop towel. Now that I have it all wiped back, I'm gonna take this print out that I printed from the internet and I'm gonna cut it to the shape uh, or the size that it needs to be cut and I've already measured it. And I'm gonna use this hydrangea rub on transfer. I'm going to Mod Podge the uh, printed image onto the cardboard that fits in the frame. And then I'm gonna use this rub on transfer, which I'll have linked in the description box. You just want to rub it with the stick on real good and it's super easy. It transfers right onto whatever you're rubbing it on. And then I'm going to just put it all back together into the frame. And I have this beautiful framed hydrangea that looks super vintage and super, I don't know, just so pretty and I'm gonna add it to the side table. I'm gonna lay this tray down that I got from Target. I'm gonna put the frame in it. Then I have this really pretty candle that I've had in my candle stash for a while. And then these two candlesticks that I also thrifted. And then this strand of wood beads that I've had 
in my home as well. Now this is the artwork that I'm gonna put over the bed. I got all of this from Hobby Lobby and I needed something pretty big because these ceilings in these rooms are 12 feet tall. So I needed something that's gonna be pretty big. So the easiest way that we found to do this was to take some painter's tape, lay it across the back of the artwork and poke a hole in the tape where the hooks are. So that's where we know where the nails will need to be. My husband put the tape on the wall. We made sure it was level. And now he's just gonna put some nail picture hanger things in the wall. And we then we take the tape off and get the picture hung. Then we have the two shutters that we have to hang on each side. So we did the same process to get those shutters next to the picture. And this is how it looks afterward. Using the painter's tape really makes this process so much easier. I knew initially I wanted to do this room in this green. And so I was so excited to find this Laura Ashley comforter set from TJ Maxx. So now we're gonna start putting the bed together. We've got the mattress vacuumed out. We're gonna put the um, bed skirt on. This is the only thing I wish I would have done differently is gotten a cream colored bed skirt over a white bed skirt, but it's fine. We put the mattress cover on and now we're just gonna put the sheets on the bed, get the comforter on the bed and the bed will be all done. I did kind of rearrange how I wanted the pillows to be, but um, I did get this green accent pillow from TJ Maxx as well. And then I also got this blanket from TJ Maxx for like $14.99. And so I'm putting it on the end of the bed. Now my husband is vacuuming the room. He's so sweet. He really helped me out a lot with this. And so while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the dresser. This dresser sits in front of the bed, so this is where we're gonna have a TV. So I'm just gonna get it cleaned up, get it dusted real good. Now that we have everything off of it, all of my thrift finds off of it and cleared off. So I'm just gonna dust that real good. Since there'll be a TV in the center of this dresser, I'm gonna put something on each end and I'm gonna anchor what I'm putting on this end with this white tray. I thrifted these two green candlesticks and I am gonna put this thrifted book on top of the tray. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put a plant. I have a lot of these little plants, faux plants um, in my house just you know in cabinets just in case i need a filler plant so that's where i got that and then i thrifted these two candles and that finishes off this little area of the dresser For this side of the dresser, I'm putting this little lamp that I thrifted, I think from Goodwill, for about $6, and it was perfect. It had the right shade, it had the right coloring and everything, it was awesome. I also thrifted this book. I love these little Reader's Digest condensed books um, and all the colors they come in. They're great for decorating and using as risers. Then I have this little wicker basket that I've had in my house for I don't even know how long and on top of it I'm putting this green candle that I found from Dollar General for five dollars now for next to the book I found a silver frame from the thrift store and I used some gold rub and buff and some brown antiquing wax to make it kind of a brassy color. And then I found this print, this picture on the internet, and I just printed it out on the computer and cut it to 
the right size of the frame. And so for about $2, I have a beautiful little framed botanical. This room is its own little suite. It has a bathroom, so we did change out the shower curtains and I added a little tray with a lamp and a little uh, plant and some cotton balls and swabs. And here's the reveal of the room. I have to say that I am really, really happy with the way it turned out. I took my time. I, you know, thrifted the things that I felt would look good in the room. I made some changes to those thrifted items. So I feel like I did a good job of redoing this room for a very reasonable price. I did not spend a lot of money on decorating it. I would say the most expensive thing that I spent the money on was probably the bedding. And even that was not, I want to say it was $60. So I'm just really pleased with the way it all turned out. It just looks so inviting and so cozy. I would love for you to let me know your thoughts in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if there's even at least one thing that I've done to the room that you love. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by and watching this video of this room makeover. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this sort of content, whether it's thrifting hauls, shopping hauls, home decor, cooking, then I would love it if you would be a part of my YouTube family. Click the subscribe button and click the bell button so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I try to do two videos a week, so that's lots of content that I don't want you to miss. If you are new to my channel, let me know in the comments. Introduce yourself. I would love to meet you. And if you would like to watch more home decor videos, I have a video where I just kind of redid some of the decor in our family room, and I would love for you to watch it. But if you want to see that, then check out the box that you see on the screen right now, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.